I don't know if this will help get you any closer, but let's just run through some uh, Base64 stuff. So here I've got um, a text area that I've um, set a default value of uh, Base64 string. And I've got a button that's going to assign this um, string to an image control. There's my image control. And then I've got another button that's going to convert this Base64 to an image. And display it in that, and display it in that image. And I think that's about it. So I've assigned this image a default value of um, my test base 64 JPEG, and that's just a file that uh, did exist, but now is blown away in my uh, live preview folder. And here we've got another button that'll convert to base 64 and show that base 64 in here. So let's just fire this up. So I should have my base64 in here, and there it is. So that's good. That's my base64 stuff. And let's prove that it's a real image. So I'm going to assign base64 to this image control that's sitting down in here. Uh, now this shouldn't be here. So I'm going to go make sure that that's gone. I blew that one away. Yes. All right, now I've blown that away. Now it shouldn't be there. Good, now it's not there. It's a broken link. Good. So here's my base64. I'm going to assign this, uh, assign this base64 to an image control. So now I know that I've got a real image, so that's good. And now I'm going to um, convert this base64, this stuff, into a real image and write it out. So that's done now, and if I refresh, my image is now there. So they're both there. That's fine. And now what I can do is convert this image that's sitting out on a file. should be sitting out there again. There it is there, so that's good. We know that's a real image. We can double-click on that image. And there it is, so that's a real image. So now we can take this image, convert to a base64, and there we go. So that's exactly the same data that's sitting up on top. So in order to do all that, so there's my base64 image. I just set a default value for it. I just really just copied this into the default value. Can't see it, but... And then uh, this button um, takes my uh, value in my image base64, which is up here. And it sets its, uh, the source for my real image, for my image here, equal to data image JPEG base64 plus the data. So, um, so now I've got the actual source in there, and you can see that being set. Now this button to convert the base64 to an image... That's doing an AJAX callback. The AJAX callback is convert base64 to image. So let's go and see that one. Base convert base64 to image. So I grab my image data. This is my base64 image data. Um, and I set it as a blob. Uh, dimension my image as a blob to decode this base64 and then I do a file from blob out to my uh, base64 JPEG and there's my image there. And then what's next? Oops. And so then my image shows up and now I'm going to convert that image back to base64 and I do that by calling another AJAX callback, convert, convert image to base64. And that's another function. So that converts base64 to image. And down here we've got convert image to base64. So we do a file to blob. So I'm grabbing my file that I've just created. And it's a blob binary file. And my base64 is base encode my image because of file to blob. 
and then I do an e dot set new image 64 value so that's my base 64 string so uh, I hope that helps a bit thanks for having a look